Disheveled ones, welcome to a trigger treat edition of Pillowcase of Doom. Ooh. Yeah. It was decided that uh, Insane would get me a trigger treat bag going here. I have no idea what she has put in here. Some of these could be tricks. Mm -hmm -hmm. <laughs> and some of them could be treats. And I am shoveling them around. And I'm hoping I get something really good. Like that. Yeah. <laughs> Y'all saw me struggling there, right? I was like, I threw a treat in there myself. Because I wanted a Reese's pumpkin. But we'll wait till the movie. Let's just see what I'm going to pull out. Uh, I hope it's not all tricks. I hope there is some treats in here. I mean, my lord. <laughs> I'm so afraid of what. Are you serious? I mean... It is what it is, but... Um, well, if you can't tell, it's the Twilight Saga. We're not watching the whole saga, though. We're only going to watch Twilight. This could technically be a preview of next month's Thanksgiving, <laughs> but these damn vampires sparkle. What the f... Naughty, naughty. What are you doing? I I'm assuming this is the trick. For Be you. <laughs> yeah, it may be a treat for you, but it's sure they all are not a treat for me. Um, producer Jamie actually required me to go to the theater to see this movie. So this is not going to be my first rodeo, boys and girls. I've seen it before, but this is the first time I've watched it with you. Hey, are you interested in what else she put in here? Stick around to the end of the video and I'll go through this and I'll make a judgment if there's any treats in here for me. <laughs> besides the, the one I threw in there for myself. You know. Alright. The bag is spoken. The bag hates me. And she tricked me. <laughs> Let's watch. Stephanie Meyer could have made this character Bella so much cooler. If she would just had made her a goth, like Isabella was all about like Sisters of Mercy, The Cure, The Smiths, maybe a little bit of Boss. But no, she probably like listens to like The Muse and U2. Oh, is that Casper? Or is that his name? Jasper. Oh, okay, Jasper. He does look like he's in pain there. I bet he listens to The Cure though. And there he is. Robert Pattinson, which I'm glad he didn't get completely pigeonholed. Like, there are still people today that, you know, when you mention Robert Pattinson, they think about this movie and he, oh, he sucks, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, he doesn't really. He's actually a pretty damn good actor. Don't at me. He is. What do you think Edward listens to? I know, in a book, classical. Okay, so like Mozart, maybe some uh, Beethoven. I can see that, you know. Oh, I'm an old vampire. Let me throw on the classics. Okay, we'll, we'll, we'll keep that. He, he rocks uh, rock some, uh, some Beethoven while she rocks the cure. See, Stephanie, you should have went that route. It's okay that he listens to classical, but like, she totally should be listening to the cure. At least Love and Rockets. Why does Dr. Cullen look like he could have been in the Ken version of Ball House? I mean, really, he does, don't he? Yeah. He's, he, he looks like a, a blonde Ken goth. <laughs> Just how pale he is. The way Jasper walks around like he has like a, a carrot up his booty. The way producer Jamie told me is he's a new vampire and he's struggling like wanting blood. 
So basically he's like me. If I was to go into like a pumpkin spice factory <laughs> and with all this different pumpkin spice everywhere, it's like I would just trying to fight that temptation temptation and like all of it there and then at the end of everything there's a nice a large cheese pizza with pineapple on it so I, I i can feel jasper i understand what he's going through oh yeah he's he's scoping bella out isn't he he's he's wanting that blood gotta have that blood 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 damn James was pretty hot there. Oh, yeah. So, Creepy Jay apparently loves this movie, too. So, I guess I will be the odd man out in this house. <laughs> so, I wonder what is going to be the cream of the crop kill in this movie. I suspect there probably won't be one. Edward Wood's a race car driver. <laughs> so, Edward says that there are other vampires out there. But, are the other vampires like cool i mean do they actually have fangs and balls and shit like that how do you rip into a neck with dull ass teeth like edward has there i don't know i mean you read the books okay i'm gonna update you guys on a little bit of twilight knowledge jasper turns out is not a new vampire he's just a new vegetarian vampire you know He's, he doesn't drink human blood. Producer Jamie, I'm very disappointed in you. You should have knew this. You've read the books. You've watched the movies. You've wrote the fanfic. <laughs> You've probably <laughs> yourself thinking about Jasper kissing Edward while Jacob looked on braiding his hair because obviously we're talking about Jacob when he has long hair because we're not talking about these other movies where he has short hair because I mean... That's lame. Wrong. Long care, don't care, baby. The cringy AF part where Edward is taking Bella spider monkey climbing up trees and stuff, which looks horrible, by the way. It's a classic scene. I mean, it's the Superman taking Lois Lane flying. It's a Spider-Man swinging through New York with Mary Jane. I mean, it's an age-old thing, so props to her. For writing that in here not props for making it look really bad <laughs> robert pattinson was in a cronenberg movie called crosmopolis or something like that and that movie rocked he rocked in it i uh, still need to see it yeah yeah we definitely should uh i'll definitely i'd be all up for watching that one again it was very good jackson rathbone he has some horror ties because uh he was in a clive barker movie called dread was pretty good too oh yeah i wish they put that on like blu-ray yeah we no. just have we it on dvd yeah you know why didn't you put that in here but we'll see what's in there. We'll see. I was thinking about it, but I didn't want to go downstairs. Oh, you didn't want to go downstairs to get the DVDs. Mm -hmm. Okay, I feel you. I bet you just want Edward and James to kiss, don't you? Yeah. All right, so that was Twilight. Originally, Trent and I were going to do Twilight as an April Fool's joke. That never came to pass, but I guess she tricked <laughs> me into watching it. Yeah, no, obviously I feel, find the movie very boring, bland. I mean, but then again, the, the movie wasn't made for me. I'm not, I'm not into romance type things. I'm into like, you know, other things. I mean, you watch this channel, you, you know, I'm you know what i'm into i do respect the book series the simple fact is i love reading i love other people reading and when these books were like coming out people were so excited about reading not only insane producer jamie you know but just people people were running out standing in line at books a million borders Barnes and Nobles. I mean, people were excited about this. And when, when they got the book, they took it home. They fucking flew through it. I know. Jamie was, she was next to me reading it when I was trying to sleep. I mean, she was reading. And, and that is, that is a thing of beauty. And I will never hate this series because of that. The movie, at least it got Robert Pattinson on the map, I guess. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm sorry. I know you guys love the movie, but I, 
And now Creepy J loves it. Maybe Creepy J will read the book too. I don't know. You see, like, you know, online, you know, things like books of horror. You know, people get excited about books there too, you know. But, I mean, this is a widespread, you know. And, and like, you, you don't see that very much, you know. Anymore, especially. You know, you had Harry Potter. People were excited about those mm -hmm. when they dropped it. I mean, us horror nerds uh, love whenever, you know, a Stephen King book drops. And, you know, Brian, a, King. Uh, Brian King, yeah. <laughs> whenever one of his books drops. You know, we we nerd out for that. People just, you know, don't get excited. I'm, I'm sure if J George R. R. Martin finally released a new book for, you know, the Game of Thrones series. I'm, I'm sure people would be lining up at, well, how many book retailers are there anymore? I mean, it's like Barnes and Nobles and a few books of millions, you know, but I'm, I'm sure this will do good business for them. But, all right. So <laughs> obviously you love the movie. How many times have you seen the movie? Maybe 20. About 20. So, not as many times she's seen Hatchet 2. No. So, she does have some taste left, I guess. <laughs> um, but let's, uh, let's see what could have been. What... It's not too hefty. I mean, there's just a few. I mean, she, she could have filled it up. I, I think she did this on purpose. I think she <laughs> didn't have as many movies in here because she wanted me to pick something. Well, let's see. Let's see. Let's see what could have been here. Oh, Midnight Kiss. A little spoiler. Uh, this this will be going into the Vampire Pillowcase of Doom. So, we can just go ahead and put that on the vampire stack. Mm -hmm. Okay. What else? So, I would have liked that movie. Um, hopefully, we pull I that during the vampire. I hope so. Because that movie... That movie is good to the last fucking drop. <laughs> oh, well, Halloween Resurrection. A movie I love, but we have done it on... Horror Buddies. So, if you want to see my reaction to this, it is on Horror Buddies. So, you didn't miss out on that one. Even though I would have dug watching it again because, I mean, I really do love that movie. Okay, some H.P. Lovecraft stuff. See, I, you know, why couldn't we pull that? <laughs> that would have been fun. Barbara Cramden? Oh, man. That would have been fun. Okay, so there was some definitely some treats in here, y'all. Definitely some treats. Oh my gosh! Why did I pull like everything else? I ha all right. Hold on. We'll wait till we get to the bottom of this. Did I pull the absolute movie in here that was gonna make me cringe? And the only one? No, I love this one too. I think I did. I think I did. <laughs> oh, good God. Some Dave Parker, man. Some fucking Dave Parker. Oh, <laughs> she she tried to get another uh, uh, hatchet out of me. I'm sure a few of these will make it into our slasher next year. And that's, and that's what was in there, guys. The only trick, <laughs> and I pulled it. That's my damn luck. Pillowcase, why do you hate me? I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you pull it out yourself and, and watched it. I want you to be tortured just with me. Go ahead and give us a big like. You know, that helps the algorithm and all that stuff. You know, you know the drill. I'm sure this is not your first YouTube video to watch. It's very important to give us a like. If you can, comment down below. And always subscribe. Because, you know, we're dropping this shit like it's hot, y'all. I mean, we drop the finest films on this channel. As always, stay spooky because you got to be spooky especially when you watch something like that i mean the the paleness is really spooky and victoria here whenever she went to black and white at the end 
That was kind of cool. And, and you also just keep it disheveled. 